Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a, a web tool for making clear escape. Mm. So this is a picture. Uh, it's a picture of a snowflake. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, it's, this is not the clear escape, but it, I'm trying to uh, render this into a clear escape. And the uh, uh, first step is to to download the image. And uh, I have to make sure it is a square, squared image. So it, it, it is a squared image, so it's fine. And uh, uh, this, is the, this is the web tool that I made to uh, render ClearScope. It's based on uh, GISL, which is shader. Uh, it's rendering based on shader, and uh, it's also uh, using PixelJS. And, uh, and currently, it says nothing. So first step is to actually there is something. The, the problem is the image is not, not downloaded before the page is re rendered. So uh, if I render the page again, it's going to render the uh, render uh, uh, But actually, uh, this is not ideal because this image is from a uh, render image from Pinterest, and I'm, I'm did, didn't uh, resize it to to a square. And so I'm going to uh, select this image, this one, and uh, it's uploaded. It's not re rendered. I have to I have to uh, drag it to re render the image. So now it's rendering the kaleidoscope. And uh, so currently it's very too too simple. And uh, to uh, to generate a more complicated com complicated pattern. Uh, I'm going to sh to shrink the radius of the feedback area. If you if you can uh, observe the, it's it's shrinking the area of the original image. So now it's smaller and smaller. And the in oh, this is too small. And uh, maybe maybe look like this. So uh, this is the the clear scope. And uh, also I can scale the image. Uh, but actually, when I scroll, scroll this, scroll, scale the image, uh, it's it's the, the image itself is moving uh, like this. It's 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 scaling, it's scaling. Uh, so I then use a, sm a small radius and uh, uh, then scale the image. Uh, but the picture is still not ideal. So in order to draw some more complicated image uh, pattern. I have, I have, there's one more button to move the picture. If you look at the image, it's, it's just moving the background somehow. And uh, uh, OK, so smaller, make it small. Now I'm going to check and move the image. And uh, to use the smaller. Maybe smaller. Okay. Check it again. And it's generating patterns. I can still check to move. Okay. So now, now this is the color scope I make to uh, look upon a snowflake. So this is very simple demo, and uh, uh, maybe maybe we, we should try another picture. Look, uh, colorful leaves. Uh, now I I'm going to try a, a demo for leaves. Uh, like let's try this one. Uh, this one is not a uh, square. Then I'm going to uh, click and edit the image. Edit the image, slice the image, smaller, okay, uh, and I crop the image, save the image, and then upload the image again, uh, should be this one. And also to, okay, now it's rendering the new image I uploaded to the, to the tool. Uh, so it's now rendering the, maybe I should try some smaller patterns. 
in this way. And now it's looking looking at the leaf in through the telescope, and it's like this way. And actually, I can still change how it's rendering. It's uh, so by default, it's it's rendering three uh, divided into three angles, and uh, if you change it to two angles, it looks weird, <laughs> actually. And uh, now now I can try more more angles, like four angles. Uh, this is how it looks like with four angles, four angles, and uh, it don't look quite great. And uh, maybe we try f six, six angles. Ah, uh, it's it's rendering six angles. And I, uh, where's the point? By the way. So the point, and uh, to soon in the image. Out and uh, smaller, rendered smaller, or maybe better to use a large one. Oh, okay, uh, this is not optimal, and uh, maybe we add uh, bricks, maybe. Colorful. I want to something colorful. Pills. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. Actually, I think it's better to have three or uh, three angles to rendering to to to, to create the pattern. So and also, uh, it's now scale scale larger. And the instead of I'm rendering the uh, crater curve. which is better. Uh, this one is better, maybe, and it's. Shapes are uh, uh, like flaws, um, blow out, bring out. Uh, maybe this is still not optimal. So, anyway, uh, this is the demo. This is the kaleidoscope that I created with uh, shader and uh, pixie.js. And I uh, hope it looks good. And you, you can still try to visit this example and uh, uh, choose your own image, which is a squared one, and uh, uh, try these parameters. And also, uh, something to notice is when you open this, uh, maybe when you open this page for the first time, it's not loading. It may not loading uh, the image uh, very quickly, and so uh, you you still have to trigger it by yourself. And uh, use shift, shift dragging, and uh, shift uh, scrolling to. To, to resize the canvas to uh, according to your own screen. Uh, so this is the demo. Thanks for watching.